does our body regulate temperature? Well, our skin is an important part of the integumentary system, and it helps to maintain temperature along with the, with the brain. So let's go over how the body cools itself and how it warms itself again. So let's say that the body temperature has risen and it's quite hot. What happens are two major processes. One, receptors in your skin send messages to the brain for it to cool. And the first thing is happening is that in your blood vessels, they're going to widen. This is called vasodilation. And the widening of these blood vessels in this second layer of skin called the dermis actually releases heat because of the proximity between the blood and the surface of the skin. The second thing that happens is that the brain signals for sweat glands right here to secrete sweat. What that does is releases a combination of water and salts which evaporate on the skin and by a, a process of convection the skin actually cools. So when it is hot, you know that your body is working properly to help it cool down because you looked flush, you look flushed by these dilated blood vessels and you are sweating to release heat. So the opposite happens when your body temperature is too low. When exposed to the cold, your brain receives signals from the skin and other parts of the body and in return they send messages to the body to one constrict blood vessels or make them smaller and this is to prevent heat loss and keep heat near the core of the body and the second thing that happens is we're going to halt the production of sweat so we're going to decrease the production of sweat and the third thing that's going to happen is we're going to tell our muscles to shiver or to involuntary, involuntarily contract. And these involuntary muscle contractions known as shivering helps us increase the uh, heat generation in our body. Finally, we have that subcutaneous layer of fat on the, on the deepest most inner layer of our skin for warmth. So in summary, you have a wondrous capacity to regulate temperature. Be reminded of this when your hair stands up from goosebumps or the next time you see someone flushed from heat.